Good morning, um, uh, Brent. The price of oil yesterday reached its target, its first target area. And then in the one minute chart, you could see that there has been a one, two, three top that has been formed. And out of that top, there was some, some uncertainty where to go next. So they tested the, the minor high again. Just look at the one minute chart. It's really interesting to see that perfect top information. And then it just uh, dropped below the uh, lower low that it made within that correction, within that topping um, formation. And then it went down, was up by more than 2%. In the end, it was down by one by more than 1%. So that might be the start of a correction coming in the price of oil. The reason for that was that there was a very strong US dollar yesterday. Um, US manufacturing data uh, showed the strongest uh, reading in 14 years. And that um, reminds us that you will always have to wait for the US session when you trade oil. So when you trade oil in the London session and you do not wait for a confirmation uh, with uh, until the US trading really starts at NYMEX uh, with the WTI contracts, then you will not have the, or might not really see the real direction. The DAX yesterday um, was uh, also not really confirming, or the US at least, the Wall Street, uh, Dow Jones and S&P, were not really confirming what the DAX did the day before the start of the week. The DAX went up sharply. The U.S. indices yesterday did not confirm that, so we still need to wait for those gains to be made. The Dow Jones had its 14th attempt to break the uh, 20,000 point mark, but did not really achieve that yesterday um, either. So one of the reasons was um, there was some weakness in restaurant stocks, um, uh, the restaurant sector in the United States, the stocks there went down the eighth day in a row. It's uh, actually the strongest down day yesterday since October of last year in that sector. And that is really interesting because we had in the um, in restaurant stocks, we had, um, uh, we had a rally just alike in any other sector after the Trump election. But there were no revenue gains at all. In, re in restaurants and restaurants are one of those um, and, and dining stocks are one of those sectors that you can see very early if there are any positive revenue gains because they report on a weekly sometimes monthly basis what is going on and you cannot see really a positive effect that correlates with the price increases and so that is something that motivated um, and still motivates and seems still to motivate fund managers to sell into the recent strength. So watch out for that if that is something that could spill over to other sectors. The Department of Homeland Security in the United States is being told to prepare a wall of construction. So that is uh, Donald Trump actually saying they should prepare plans to build a wall and that is the Mexican wall, the peso yesterday, the Mexican peso, the Mexican currency closed at an all-time low yesterday. The reason for that was that um, uh, the news was spread that the DHS is actually um, preparing plans for the wall, but it was also the automaker Ford saying that they will not build a plant in Mexico, but they will invest in the expansion of a factory in Michigan. So that is Trump coming in. He will be inaugurated on the 20th of January. It will also be Hillary and Bill Clinton joining that inauguration um, ceremony. And there is a honeymoon rally on Wall Street, which from a statistical standpoint, at least, uh, could end at the 20th of January. That at least is being handled, handed around in the media. So let's see if that really comes to fruition.